What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Polymer handguns are all the craze right now. Every manufacturer is making one, and for the most part, a lot of us carry them. One downside to polymer framed handguns is you can't really change the grip module. Some come with better grips than others, and sometimes stippling isn't an option for everybody. It can get really expensive. If you haven't seen the videos I've done on my guns that I've had stippled, I'll link them below. But for someone that doesn't have a bunch of extra money laying around, there are other options. To get a better grip on your polymer framed handgun. So let's jump into it. So the handguns that I have that I wish had better grips are my XDMs and a factory Glock. The plastic on them is, is really slippery. The grip that's on those isn't the best in the world when your hands get a little sweaty or you're out shooting on a hot day. You can really tell that your grip is suffering. Handle It Grips reached out to me and asked if I'd like to try out some of their grips. Honestly, I'd never heard of them. I'd never looked into them really, but he sent out a few different options for me to try out. So these are what the grips look like. They're just a laser cut adhesive grip panel that you can put on your handgun to increase the grip. The gun I'm gonna throw it on today is my XDM and nine millimeter. Yeah, this is empty. But the XDM is very plasticky. The, the grip does get a little bit slippery. And that's one thing that I noticed is very well pronounced on my XDM Elite 10 millimeter. This thing has a lot more recoil than the nine millimeter. And on a hot day, this thing gets really sweaty when you're trying to grip it and control that recoil. So I'm gonna throw one of these grips on my XDM and try it out, see if I like it. Now they make grips for all sorts of different handguns. So let me show you what these things look like. They make them in a bunch of different textures. This one is kind of a rubberized texture. Like I said, it's laser cut. It's cut out for the XDM logo. It kind of slips around the gun like this and it's cut just about perfectly. And then they have a little backstrap piece to go on the backstrap as well. This one's kind of the rubberized texture. He also sent me one that is like a sandpaper texture. It's very grippy. It's like a grip tape on a skateboard. I do have a Glock that I have a different brand of grip on, similar to these, that has the sandpaper type texture. And one thing to think about is if you're concealed carrying it, is that will rub against your body. If it's against your skin, it, it'll rub you raw. If you have a t-shirt tucked in or something like that, it gets lint off that t-shirt. It is very aggressive. So that's something to think about if you're gonna purchase a grip like this. For this XDM that I'm gonna put this on, I will have to trim this just a little bit. Um, there's a couple things that I don't really like about it. One is how that grips cut. It covers up the rear pin on the back here. So I don't want to cover that up. I'm, I think I'll trim that out a little bit. And then I also have a magwell for this that I will trim out kind of around the bottom so that doesn't interfere with the magwell being installed. I'm going to jump over to the bench, set up a time lapse so you guys can watch me install this thing. You don't want to hear me talk for 20 minutes while I install this thing. So we'll go throw this on and then we'll see how I like it after I get it on there. So that grip was not hard to install at all, and it turned out a lot better than I thought it would. I think that thing looks awesome. If you couldn't see the seams and the lines, that thing almost looks factory. Feeling it beforehand, you know, before I put it on there, it felt a little bit slick to me. But once it's on there, that, that rubberized grip actually feels really good in the hand. 
it follows the contour of the gun nicely. It's got a little a lower relief cut right here to follow the contour of that little ledge. The back strap fit on there nice and tight. Like I said, I did have to trim for this magwell that I have, which wasn't bad. I did trim it a little high on the one side, but I think that turned out pretty good and it looks good also. These grips are not expensive. They were like 15 bucks or something. You can go check them out. I'll have a link in the description. It'll take you to our website and I'll have links for this stuff. You guys can go check them out if you want. Uh, but I think that's gonna really help the shooting experience. Now he did send me this one, which is the rubberized version. And he also sent me the kind of sandpaper version that's really grippy. So I'm gonna try that one on my 10 millimeter and see how I like that. Neither of these guns I'm concealed carrying inside the waistband or anything. So that shouldn't bother me with it rubbing up against my body or anything. If I carry these, it's gonna be in an outside the waistband holster. But like I said, that thing turned out a lot better than I thought it would, and it looks good too. Supposedly, if you don't like it and you wanna take these things off, you just peel them off, peel that adhesive off, and get some rubbing alcohol, wipe it down. It takes the excess adhesive off of the gun and you can go right back to how the gun was before. Again, I did also trim off right here on the back where that pin is. I didn't wanna be covering up that pin in case I had to work on this or anything. So I trimmed that corner a little bit and this stuff isn't hard to cut. It's just a rubberized, rubberized grip panel. So it was pretty easy to cut with a razor blade. And honestly, I'm pretty impressed. It is laser cut, so you can see the factory logo right there in the grip, the XDM, and then it has their little logo. All in all, I think it turned out great. I wanna say thanks to Handle It Grips for sending these to me to try out. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. They are a veteran-owned company, so go check them out. Also, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. Hit that thumbs up button, and we'll check you guys on the next one.